Hello everyone, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program with me, Redneck Einstein, and today I thought we'd kick things up a little bit, and I thought we'd go to Minmus. Uh, we, primarily, the reason we wanted to go to Minmus was to get loads of science data, because we're kind of stuck with a few rocket parts that we can't really get much further uh, with in the game. We can't go to the outer planets like Elu, Duna, um... And Moho and, and Drez and the rest. So I thought if we go to Minmus, a manned mission to Minmus, uh, then we can get absolutely tons of data. And we've been trying to get to Minmus, so we've orbited it. We've uh, we've even had a failed mission to Minmus, but this time I thought we're going to crack it. We've I built a rocket that's good, it's stable, it doesn't fall apart. Uh, and so yeah, I've cre I'm commentating on the video after the fact that I did it because. Uh, it, it did take like 36 minutes, and I thought 36 minutes of orbiting and seeing this map would drive you crazy. So I've managed to edit it down to a 12 minutes, so it's three times speeded up. And you can see basically what I have to do. So in order to get a, an easy approach to Minmus, at this stage, once you're in orbit of the of Kerbin, you want to create um, uh, a change in your angular uh, orbit of Kerbin. So... By doing that, using the pink mo uh, nodes there, you're able to get a much easier approach to Minmus. So then you have to actually find where's where's going to be the approach. So I burned it from here, managed to find an approach. And like I, excuse me, like I said, it takes absolutely ages. Obviously nowhere near as long as it takes to get to Elu, because that planet is, quite frankly, out of this world. Although very similar to Pluto, I would imagine. I've been there before, but uh, here we go. It looks like here I'm not even going to encounter with Minmus, even though my burn said I was going to. So I was like, what do I do here? Let's play around, see if it, I am actually going to approach it. And then I thought, okay, well, we'll let Lady Luck uh, decide. Are we going to approach Minmus, or are we just going to fly back to Kerbal? Uh, fly back to Kerbin. But as luck would have it, I managed to get the approach. But then once you're there, you're going to need to burn retrograde again in order to slow down your velocity enough to create sort of a circular, it's more like an elliptical orbit around Minmus, this one. But uh, really what I'm aiming for is to get there, plant a flag, um, take all the science data I can, such as from the Science Junior. I'm carrying the temperature gauge, the barometer for the pressure. Uh, and I'm carrying, um, obviously, a Kerbal. And that way, we can get the maximum amount of data from the science instruments I'm carrying. I think I'm carrying... Um, uh, what do you call it? Mystery goo as well. I still don't know what mystery goo is. What's a real world equivalent of mystery goo? Like algae or something? I don't know. These Kerbals are crazy. So anyway, what I was trying to do here was try to create an orbit um, to land on this, like the little green, it looks like, almost like a lake bed in the, the rock there. So I messed around a little bit trying to get um, an approach to that because that's obviously the flattest part on the planet that it's easily visible from our orbit so I thought yeah we'll, we'll burn from there and here you can see we're having a nice approach um, and then you can see I completed that contract but it's going really quick apologies for that um, I didn't want to like I said I didn't want to make the video too long so uh, you can basically see what I'm doing but if you are struggling and you want any help at all don't hesitate to get in touch always willing to help I've not had very many messages asking for help so I assume you're all experts much like me. <laughs> I'm sort of a armchair expert, if you want. I don't know all the technical terms, but I know how to play the game and I know how to land and put satellites in orbit and, you know, change velocities and change angles of uh, momentum and angles of orbit and all that stuff. So here we go. If, if I was to show you this in real time, this would take a long time because the gravity on Mimus is remarkably small. It's, uh, it's even smaller than the moon. So basically, you, if you jump on Minmus, you can just like take off. <laughs> you can almost orbit yourself or fire yourself out into outer space by jumping, essentially. Um, so yeah, here we go. We're having a nice slow descent. You want to try and keep it as controlled as you can without wasting fuel. So I tend to get quite low at around 20 meters per second and then start burning. Um, you kind of have to know the thrust to weight ratio of your rocket because if if it's too heavy and you haven't really got a good thrust to weight ratio then you're going to um, be unable to slow down your rocket in time but i know the, the thrust to weight ratio of my rocket and i'm able to gently descend at around four meters per second which is a lovely descending speed out of a little bounce at the end for style 
and we're there. There we go. Let's get uh, old Jebediah out. Jebediah's always the one carrying the can for our team, isn't he? He's always going everywhere. But anyway, we get 125 science from just from the science uh, junior module, which makes it worth its weight in gold. So there we go. I have a, I'll take off, get outside, have a little uh, look around, plant my flag, obviously, for YouTube. YouTube landing site number one. That means YouTube landing site number one on uh, Minmus, because there may be further landings. I don't know. I might explore other parts of it. <laughs> then I try to jump up to the rocket and smash into it. And then the rocket falls over, and I'm like, oh, crap. Now I'm stuck, because generally if your rocket falls over, you're not going to be able to... Uh, tilt it back upwards but I'm kind of lucky I know the gravity of this place and I thought there is a way of salvaging this as long as I can get inside the rocket then we're good and I did so you're literally able to tilt the rocket back up that's how low the gravity is using the legs as sort of uh, propel you upwards I don't know if you could do that on any planet or moon in real life but uh, you certainly can on here so I was kind of fortunate there now I've forgotten to uh raise the landing gear there but never mind we're we're just basically ascending back into orbit and just trying to create an uh, escape velocity really to get us out of here now i was thinking should i land in the lake bed but now i changed my mind thought better safe than sorry jebediah doesn't want to get stuck stuck out in space again the poor guy like i said he he, he puts up with a lot from uh, his renegade um space agency master which is me <laughs> he's like god damn stop making me bloody stuck on places if you remember in an earlier episode we got was it him no i think jebediah went on a rescue mission didn't he for valentina we got valentina stuck in orbit um but there we go here we're returning back to kerbin and as long as we can enter the thick atmosphere and not burn up or blow up or anything then we're gonna have an absolute fiesta with the amount of uh, science data we've got it'll probably push our science program forward oh good few years We'll be like NASA after this. <laughs> so here we go. We're coming in. It's always best to land on the brighter side of the planet if you can. Sometimes I get it wrong, though, because I'm just trying to do it for speed. I, I can do it. I don't need it to be fancy. And there we go. Lots of things keep blowing up on my rocket in re-entry. So we have another go and uh, try to change our sort of re-entry just ever so slightly. So on, on approach here at the apoapsis of our re-entry, I decide to do another burn just so I can control so I can control the angle a little bit more and hope for a bit more success because failing at re-entering is not good. Just remember guys, use quick save a lot. F5 cuz anything can go wrong with aerodynamics and space and you know all, all of this bizarre um space program that we're trying to run here. We're, we're not professionals, are we? Uh here you go. We're just burning through the atmosphere like a boss. Jebediah is so calm. Look at him. He's like, "Yeah, I've been here before. You're always sending me through the atmosphere wrong, you big dummy." Um yeah, the other thing is, if you want to reload your uh, your quick save, just hold down F9. Um, there we go. And we managed to finally re-enter with all of our components on board. And thankfully, we'll be able to get all the science from this. Now, this bit takes absolutely forever. There's not, there's not one part of me that enjoys the whole landing procedure. It just takes way too long. But luckily for you guys, I've speeded it up. And there we are. Jebediah is, is out. I'm even going to get him to do a little bit of science data there. Now we just got to recover the vessel. And 74 science is ours. That's from Jebediah. And I'm like, that's not enough. We must have got more than that. So I go through and get rid of all of these blooming things. Because you really want to get rid of your debris. This is a good, pants, good chance to tell you. You can see we just got 442 science there. And then we just have to spend it. And uh, that is my episode done and dusted. Thanks for watching. Join me on the next one. Bye-bye.